Without love, none of that other stuff matters. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about love. And I think love is a really important subject, so I'm actually going to be talking to you about love for kind of a long time. I've got a lot of ideas about episodes to talk about love, and they all kind of come from the same passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And today, specifically, I want to talk to you about the fact that without love, none of the other stuff really matters at all. As Christians, we, we want to do stuff for God, right? Like, it's kind of hard for me to picture a Christian that doesn't want to do anything for God at all, right? Like, because of what Jesus has done for us, I think we want to do something for him, too, even if it's just something little. But some of us have, like, big plans, you know, they're like, I want to start a hundred churches, or I want to go be a missionary in a place where I could be killed, or, or I want to I wanna be the best biblical scholar in the whole wide world. These things are okay, but they can also kind of be a trap. Now, I said they're okay. What I should have said is they're great. It is awesome and amazing and very good to do stuff for God. But if what we do for God, we do without love, God doesn't care at all. It doesn't mean anything. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, it says, If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Right? Like I'm just a loud, annoying noise. Right? Like if I, if I am so good at preaching that it's like I'm an angel speaking, but I don't have love, then I'm just a loud, annoying noise. And then in verse 2, it says that if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Right, so it's saying that if you can tell the future, if you can see what God is going to do and how he's going to do it, and you can understand every single mystery in all the world, and you just get it, you're the smartest person ever, and you believe in God so much, you have so much faith that you can literally move a mountain, but you don't have love, you're nothing. God does not care. And in verse 3, it says, If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Right? So if you are, you know, giving everything that you have to the poor, if you're doing all the good things, all the things you ought to do, if you even go so far as to die for Jesus, you know, like you become a martyr, but you don't have love, you gain nothing. So all those things listed in verses 1 through 3, they're all very good things things, very important things. But if they're missing the, you know, secret ingredient of love, they don't matter. The two greatest commandments are love God and love others, right? And that is, that is no mistake. They're the two most important things you can do. Love God, love others. Love. After everything else fades away, three things remain. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. You know, I feel like I talk about food a lot. I, I like food. One of my favorite foods is pie. And you might say, well, Douglas, what kind of pie is your favorite pie? My favorite pie is the kind with the word pie in it, right? No, it's all good. It's every kind of pie. I haven't had every single kind of pie. I haven't had mincemeat pie yet, but I'm, I'm willing to try it. But I love blueberry pie and apple pie and peach pie and, and cherry pie and pumpkin pie. And, and oh, it's just, it's all so good. But if somebody like brought me a pie and there was no filling in the pie, I'd be like, Where's the pie, right? You know, like the most important part of a pie is what's in it, the filling, the good stuff. You know, the crust is fine or whatever, but it's really just like a vehicle for the filling. And if we do all that good stuff, like if we are telling people about Jesus, if we are giving to the poor, we are, we are learning as much as we can about God and about the world that he gave us. And we're doing all this good stuff, you know, even if we lay down our lives, but, but we don't have love. It's like we've made a pie for God and we're like, Hey God, I made this pie for you, but there's no filling in it. It's like, what are we doing? That's not a pie. That's just some crust. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're doing something for God, the most important part is the love. Without love, it doesn't mean anything. It's like an empty pie crust. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would love. Never forget the most important part of anything that you do for God or anything that you do at all. It's love. And love is big. It's complicated. It is is hard work. 
but it is so important. Without love, whatever we do amounts to nothing. We are nothing without love. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video, and hey, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I feel like Valentine's Day, you know, it kind of gets taken over by people talking about like mushy kind of love, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, I love you so much. But no, I think that it's a, I think it's a good time to talk about love in general, and it doesn't have to be a mushy, you know, kind of cooties kind of love. We're all called to love one another. We're all called to love God and love one another. And so this episode is the first in a long series I'm going to do about love. All talking about what 1 Corinthians 13 says about love. And this this passage that I'm going to be taking from in this series, you've probably heard it at a, you know, like a wedding or something. They, they say it all the time at weddings. But it's really important not just for, you know, people who are getting married, but it's important for all of us to know what love is, to know how to love, because it's the first and the second greatest commandment are to love. Without love, we are nothing. So let's learn how to love.